Hey guys, Jacob here from Venture Addicts. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna share the three effects that I use to clean up my audio in Adobe Audition. No matter how you record your audio, there's always a way to stick it in Audition and make it sound better. We've worked with Rode mics, we've worked with this mic, the Shure SM7B, and we even record a lot of audio on the iPhone. And in today's tutorial, I'll use an iPhone. On the iPhone, there's this app called Voice Memos that should come with your iPhone if you're on a non-iOS uh, just look for something similar like sound recorder or just download a free app from the store so when you got your app open it up one thing to remember is to record just a few seconds of silence capture some room tone and that's going to be good in post to help you remove some of the noise all right so let me just record something real quick hey this is jacob from venture addicts all right, and I'll just save that and I will send it to my laptop. Real quick before we jump in, I think it goes without saying that you should use headphones when editing audio. You can hear all the tiny little breaths and clicks in the background. It's just way better than using like a laptop speaker or something. I use these Tectonics. They're like ripoff Jaybirds. I think they're like 20 bucks, which is perfect because I lose my headphones like once a month. So whatever works for you, it's, anything will work better than just using like a laptop speaker. All right, so I have my audio here. I'll just play it back real quick. Hey, this is Jacob from Venture Addicts. All right, so it sounds pretty good. But like I said, there are a few steps you can use to make it even better. And that first step is noise removal. Real quick, you wanna make sure you have this time selection tool selected. I like to turn on loop. And then most importantly, you wanna turn on this spectral frequency display. I'll just even it out here. And this display will show you the noise. So all this purple stuff, you want it to be black. So the first thing you want to do is select a small patch of noise. Now you can see these little clicks right here, these little purple strays. That's probably like my mouse clicking. So if we play it back, you can hear some little clicking and you don't want that. You want to find a nice patch of just noise. So over here in the end, there's a lot of good stuff here. You can see in the highlighted area, there's nothing going on, but just purple. And when you play it back, it should just sound like a, a looping noise. So when you find a good patch like that, you're going to go to effects, noise reduction, and you're going to be using a capture noise print or just shift P. You're going to get this window, just hit OK. And now you just copy the noise print. Now I'm just going to do control A and do control shift P. And that's going to bring up the noise reduction window. Make sure you're on a default setting. Just hit default here. If you get this window, just close it and redo the whole process. I don't know why it does that. Just control shift. Okay, so when you got your default settings here, just toggle down advance and you got everything you can work with. All I look at is noise reduction, reduce by, and decay rate. And basically my rule of thumb is keeping this as high as possible and keeping the decay as low as possible. And you can even move this to the side and click this preview button up here and that will show you uh, the change that it's doing. So you can see here on the top, it's all purple and down here, it's pretty much all gone. You can also highlight it and you can play it back and check on and off this effect button and you can hear it. If you're working with not as clean audio or there's music in the background, something like that, you're gonna have to do a little bit more tweaking. You're gonna have to lower this a little bit, raise this a little bit, just keep it side by side, play it back and forth until it sounds perfect. So I'm just gonna do a hundred here. I'll keep that at 16 and I'll do zero. Control A and apply. So let me just delete the edges here and we'll do step number two, which is declipping. So basically when your audio is clipping, that means the spikes here are going beyond these boundaries here. So this is really good audio. You could see it's nice in the middle. Um, so I'm just gonna add 10 decibels to it and ruin it. There you go. See all these little green parts where it goes past and it's cut off, that's all clipped. And this is good, but even that's gonna sound too loud. So an easy way to remove this is the D clipper. You're gonna go to window, diagnostics, select that, and you should get a window over here. Go under effect and hit D clipper. And we're gonna start with the heavily clipped. Hit settings and you'll have all your little settings here. I like to just do about 
negative 1 and negative 5. You shouldn't have to do negative 12. Let's just do negative 5 here. And then the tolerance, just do like 10 to 20%. I'll do 12 and we'll hit scan. And you can see down here it found 46 problems. All you have to do is hit repair all. And now you can see that all of the clipping is gone. I could do a, a higher tolerance, lower decibels. It'll get even shorter if it's still clipping. If you didn't want to clip too much, just do it the other way around. So once you got your noise gone, you got all of your audio nice and in the middle and not clipping, I like to get rid of any little annoying frequencies going on. So a cool way to do that is going up to effects, filter and EQ, and then the parametric equalizer. So again, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on here, but it's really simple. Hit all of these letters and numbers and just deselect all of them except number five here. So we're gonna set this to 15 and then we're gonna set this to 20. So this will just make it fatter or skinnier. I like 20, that's a good amount. And then 15 is just right on top. So what this is going to do, when you play it back, you're going to blast certain frequencies at a 15 decibel rate. You're going to make certain frequencies pop out and you're just going to drag it around and listen for that annoying screeching or you can find fans or music, any kind of a little annoying noise in the background, you can specifically get it out of there. You're going to grab here. Hey, this is Jacob from Venture Addicts. Find a little hey, nasty this is frequency Jacob here. from Venture Addicts. Hey, this is Jacob from Venture Addicts. So you can hear it kind of clips there and it has like a, it has like a weird little whistling noise. All you got to do is change to 15, then negative 15 and boom, that frequency is gone. And you can do this with more. So if you want to get rid of another one, just do the same thing. Turn this to 15, turn this to 20 and give it a listen and listen for something else and you can just keep going on and on and on. So when you find as many frequencies as you'd like, hit apply and boom, there you go. So you could see if you go back and forth with control Z, it cut off this one little frequency around 2000 here. And it may not be noticeable, but just little things like that will help clean up your audio. And you can go over here to your history and compare it to the open. Hey, this is Jacob from Venture Addicts. Hey, this is Jacob from Venture Addicts. So those are the three effects that I use whenever I want to clean up my audio in addition. I hope you found them useful. If you have any questions, just comment below. Let me know. You can always reach us on Instagram or Twitter at Venture Addicts. And don't forget to subscribe for more in the future. We'll see you later.